The establishment media are deliberately spreading fake news about President Trump, saying he called for violence during his interview with Breitbart News. Outside of the usual usual fake news to damage Trump and to distract from their failing Russia collusion hoax, the media's propaganda effort here is to make Trump pay a political price for daring to sit down with an alternative news outlet like Breitbart News and to warn other politicians not to violate the rules about who is supposed to be allowed to hold high-profile interviews. In this particular case, because the president said nothing wrong in his interview with us, the media have been forced to invent something. Case in point, all this nonsense about Trump calling for violence. Here's what Trump actually said. So here's the thing, it's so terrible what's happening, Trump said when asked by Breitbart News deputy political editor Amanda House about his anticipated executive order on campus free speech. You know, the left plays a tougher game, it's very funny. I actually think that the people on the right are tougher, but they don't play it tougher. Okay? I can tell you I have the support of the police, the support of the military, the support of the bikers for Trump, I have the tough people, but they don't play it tough until they go to a certain point, and then it would be very bad, very bad. But the left plays it cuter and tougher. Like with all the nonsense that they do in Congress, with all this INVSTIGATIONS, that's all they want to do is, you know, they do things that are nasty. Republicans never played this as dot I don't care how many times you read that, there is nothing there, not a word, not a peep, not anything that has anything to do with violence of any kind, nothing even close to Barack Obama's actual calls to violence with his rhetoric about bringing a gun to a knife fight or punching back twice as hard, which everyone in the media wrote off as political rhetoric. Obviously, Trump is talking about getting politically tough, about organizations and people who do not back down from a political fight. To see violence in that statement, you either have to be an idiot or a bald-faced liar deliberately acting in bad faith and what we have in the media are herds and herds of bald-faced liars deliberately acting in bad faith, deliberately attempting to deceive the American public. Here's a list of the worst offenders. CNN, naturally. What's interesting is that CNN's Chris Cuomo encourages and defends anti-FAS violence against Trump supporters. Oh, and here's CNN lying again and again. Any W York magazine. Splinter. Hoff Post. The Hill. The Washington Post. Talking Points Memo. MSNBC. Think Progress. Esquire. Daily Mail. Mother Jones. Slate.sfgate.each and every one of these outlets is deliberately deceiving its readers and viewers.